Hello all. This is the first video of the tutorial series of autonomous navigation using ROS. We will be creating the 3D model of a mobile robot using SOLIDWORKS and will be converting it into URDF for ROS simulation. For 3D modeling a part, click on file and select new part. Then click on top line to draw the part. We have to draw a sheet uh, for the mobile robot so that we are using uh, the sketch option and we are uh, sketching a circle on top of the top plane then we need four uh, circles to connect the bolt nut setup using circle option you can draw four circles at the four corners of the rectangle for getting the four centers of the four circles or four slots for the bolts we are drawing a rectangle and uh, we got the center points and draw circles uh, using the corners at the center point after that we can remove the unnecessary lines we only need the four circular slots so we got a base sheet having four slots to connect the bolt to the next uh, layer of base sheet we have drawn a 2d sketch next we have to make this a 3d model by giving a thickness of 6 mm we are designing a sheet a circular sheet of 6 mm thickness for that we can use extruded base option click on the face that we want to extrude and give the dimension so we have completed the 3d modeling of a part we can save this part after doing the 3d model so next step is we need to create different parts like this after that we need to assemble all the parts to a assembly click on file new and assembly then we can insert different parts to our assembly file for that click on insert components and then browse files from our folder so we need two base sheets two wheels four bolts and two caster wheels i have shown you the video of 3d modeling of a base sheet similarly we can create another base sheet having two slots for fixing the wheels and then we can design uh, wheels like that we can design balls like that and there are some connectors to attach the wheels with the base sheet so these are the components that we have next we are going to do the assembly of the parts so that we have to make the axis of the bolts to be the same so we are taking the base sheet we are mating the axis of one slot of one sheet with the axis of another slot of the another sheet so you can select the face the inner face of the slot with the inner face of the another sheet so that uh, we have created a concentric mate between the two for mating we can create the mate option and we can select the faces that we want to mate after that we can give the type of mating normally default uh, value will come so uh, for mating things like that we are using concentric mate we have given mating for the four slots that we need to insert the bolt all the four matings are concentric mates next we are going to insert the balls in appropriate positions for that we need to make the axis of the bolt with the axis of the slot so the axis of the bolt and the axis of the slot are uh, in a, an axis now next uh, we need to attach it for that we need constant mate for that uh, select on the face of the bolt and select on the face of the base sheet that we want to attach the bolt then uh, click on tick, tick mark so that the mating will be done similarly we have to do 
the concentric mating between bold and the slot and the coincident mate between the face of the bold and a face of the base sheet. Similarly, do the matings of the third and fourth poles like this. In this way, we can attach the two base sheet using the four balls. If we need, we can also add the part of nut for more detailed modeling. Currently, I am not uh, giving the nut part to this assembly. Next, we have to attach the connectors to this model. For that, we have to make the axis of the connectors. Select the inner face of the slot of the connector, which is to be attached with the base sheet. Select the uh, slot in the base sheet also. So the axis of the two parts are aligned now. Similarly, uh, select the slot of the other slot of the connector and the other slot of the base. Next, we need to coincide the face of the connector with the face of the base sheet. Select the two faces which we need to be uh, coincident made and then click on coincident and click on tick button. Similarly, we can uh, make the second connector also in similar way. Next, we are going to connect shaft with the connector. For that, we are selecting the faces of the shaft and the face of the connector so that the two faces will be coincident using coincident mate. Similar way, do the mating between the axis of the shaft and the face of the shaft with the connector. So that uh, the shaft of the wheel will be in same axis of the connector and when we give coincident mate, both will be in same plane. Next, we need to mate the face of the upper sheet with the face of the bolt so that the upper sheet will be attached to the wall assembly. Next, we are going to attach the caster wheels to the bottom sheet of the mobile robot. Select the faces of the uh, caster wheel and the bottom face of the mobile robot base sheet. So, uh, we have given a coincident mate. Then we have to align the axis of the slot and the slot of the caster wheel. Give concentric mates for the two slots of the caster wheel. Similarly, give concentric mate for the two slots of the uh, caster wheel and also a coincident mate between the face of the caster wheel and the bottom face of the base link means the uh, base chassis base circular chassis next we need to give the mating between wheels and uh, mating between the shaft we have to give concentric mate between the axis of the wheel and the axis of the shaft we can select the faces inside uh, for giving the mates next we need to give coincident mate between the face of the wheel and the face of the shaft similarly give a coincident mate between the face of the wheel and face of the shaft of the other wheel and then give concentric mating between the shaft and the wheel of the other side Similarly, give a tangent mate between the side and the spear of the caster wheel. Do the same for other caster wheel also. We can see that the axis of two caster wheels are correct now. Then we need to give a uh, mating between the wheels and the top line and the caster wheels and the top line so that everything will come to a same plane 
we need urdf for simulation rows for that click on file export to urdf then we need to select the base links select all base links including the shaft we have selected and give a name for the first link i have given the name as the base link base link has two chains they are the two wheels of the robot so give name uh, wheel 1 for the link and the wheel 1 join for the joint of the first wheel wheels are of continuous joint type select wheel joint type as continuous and then click on the next link give the name as wheel 2 give the join name as wheel 2 join and select continuous as the type of the wheel and select the uh, second wheel so uh, we have given the wheels then we need to give the caster wheels for that give name as caster and join name as caster join select join type as continuous join similarly give name as caster 2 give join type as caster 2 join and then select join type as continuous select the caster wheel after all these steps just verify by clicking just verify the selection by clicking on each and every link ok then click on preview and export it will take some time to generate the axes of the joints just confirm whether the axes are correct so we can see the axis of the two wheels then this window will appear here we can give the limit of the effort and velocity we are giving a high effort and high velocity so that the limit will not affect the velocity control or effort control much click on all joints and give a high effort and velocity we have four joints wheel 1 join, wheel 2 join, caster wheel 1 join and caster wheel 2 join we are giving 100 as effort and velocity for all the 4 joints click on next and then click on finish we are creating the URDF inside the E drive give the name of the URDF folder and click on ok so a folder will be created inside e drive that will be a rows package consisting of a urdf urdf is universal robot description format which is the description of the 3d model